bit different, but highly important. And it is going to be my traveling tips, essentials, and I'm also going to show you guys some hacks in here that you have to try because I guarantee you, you probably have these around your house and you're going to want to do them. So what we're going to try and avoid is this suitcase right here because nobody likes this suitcase, but let's be real, it, it ends up happening at some point for us. So I'm going to share with you guys how I pack, make things a little bit easier. And I am also partnering with you by Kotex for this video because if you are a woman, more than likely once a month, Mother Nature comes knocking at your door. And half the time, I mean, if you're traveling a lot, it's usually when you're traveling. It really sucks. And if you're not prepared, then you're in some serious hot water. And we do not want any accidents or anything like that. We're going to save the undies. And I'm going to tell you guys about this, which is obviously one of my essentials because it's a must-have. Like, you have to have this. <laughs> so, yeah, if you guys want to see my hacks, tips, tricks, essentials, all of that, then just keep watching. Okay, so these are the essentials that I tend to leave, but they are the most important, so I'm here to remind you. <laughs> First is the Colgate toothpaste, actually any toothpaste that you prefer. This is just the one that I use all the time. Also, a brush cleanser. I always forget this, but it's good to have because you gotta clean your brushes at some point. Now, this is a must-have for all my women out there, and that is Feminine Products, and I love these by UI Kotex. These are the UI Kotex Security Ultra Thin Pads, and these feature a 3D capture core, which has a one-of-a-kind center that locks away wetness and helps stop leaks, which we all do not want to happen, especially if we're wearing white shorts, and it has a new express dry cover. That means it has crazy fast absorption, and it's amazing. You can also get a free sample at ubicotex.com. So if you're interested, I will leave it down below so you can try them out and see how amazing they are. And then you also can't forget makeup remover and dry shampoo. I'm telling you, every time I get off a plane, I'm usually going to a supermarket to get these things. And then also a travel perfume is a must have. I don't like to bring full bottles, so I always buy these little ones. And then, last, well not last but not least, but the most important thing is chargers. Don't forget your chargers. And the one thing I always, always forget, PJs. Don't forget the PJs, girls. I'm telling you, don't forget them. I always forget these. I don't know why. Moving on to some hacks for traveling. This first one is a Q-tip holder, so all you gotta do is take whatever kind of pill bottle you have, it can be empty, whatever you've used up, and you just wanna make sure you kinda clean it out first, and then we're gonna take some washi tape, and we're just going to cover it in washi tape and make it look nice and pretty. So, I did go over a couple times, so I had probably like two wraparounds of this on each section, and I did do three sections to cover this whole bottle. And then I did also cover the lid of this bottle, and I absolutely love the way that this looks. I think it's so cute. I mean, you can use this for bobby pins, Q-tips, anything you want. It's just going to look extra cute, you know what I mean? So I absolutely love this, especially for Q-tips, because if you have them in a baggie, sometimes they can kind of get all roughed up and look gross. But this way, they stay compact and all put together, and I just I love this hack. I think it's so cute. Okay, so this next hack is a simple one, but I really, really love it. And all you're gonna do is take one of these like binder clips. I don't know if that's what you call them. I think that's what they're called. I don't know, it's been a while since I've been in school. So we're just gonna take one and we're gonna put this over the blade of our razor. And this is just gonna help protect the blade and also protect your hands just in case you're like digging for it or something, you're not gonna get cut by it. So I love this, really cute. Then if you're using these travel size bottles and you get nervous that your eye makeup remover or your shampoo or conditioner is going to leak, you could take a piece of plastic shopping bag, just rip it off, so rip to my Target bag, and then you just want to tie the top on it with it on, and I promise you I was squeezing this bottle like crazy and none of the water came out. So this is a really good hack if you're super paranoid and think it's going to leak, this will help it from getting all over your clothes. Then for makeup, I'm going to take a couple cotton rounds and I'm going to put these into the compacts just to make sure that they don't crack and shatter. So the cotton pads really help create a nice barrier for them and really make it nice and cushioned. So right here, I was actually banging them together really hard and nothing happened. Not a single crack, nothing. 
Now for curling iron. So you just want to take this oven mitt. And I got this from Target. I think it was like four bucks. I've had this though. And I'm just going to put my curling iron in the little sleeve. And then fold it up like a taco. And wrap the cord around it. And this is really great because first off it keeps it nice and protected if it is a little hot. And then you can also use this side right here to lay your curling iron on in like your hotel room or whatever. Just to make sure it doesn't burn anything. Then the last one is we're going to use one of these clips again. And we're going to use it to hold our headphones in place and make sure our cord doesn't get tangled up. So you want to let one of the little parts down and just wrap the cord around it. And then you're going to bring them together and then take the end of the headphones and put them through the two little holes and you're good to go. And I promise you they stay like this for so long. I love it because once you put the end of the headphones through, it like locks it in place. So I love this so much because my Beats headphones get so tangled up. <laughs> Now on to some of my packing tips. Some of these are well known, but I still really recommend them. So the first one is rolling your clothes instead of folding them. You would be so surprised at how much room you would have if you just rolled all of your clothes. It doesn't wrinkle them or anything like that. It just creates so much more space. And I feel like it makes your suitcase look so much more presentable and pretty. I don't know. But you can do this with anything. You can do it with shorts, pants, tops dresses, absolutely anything your heart desires that you want to wear. Now for bras, what I like to do is kind of cup them over each other. So like put one cup on top of another and put the straps underneath. And I like this technique for if you're doing multiple bras, you never know how many bras you're going to need on a trip. But if you are doing multiple ones, you could do this and it saves up some room or you could also do it with bathing suits. So then this little pouch I actually like to take with me as like a carry on. So I keep my must haves. If my luggage were to get lost, I still have these. And of course, if I were to start my monthly Mother Nature horribleness, I have some feminine products with me at all times. I usually pack extra as well, just in case, because you never know. And then all you gotta do is put everything in your suitcase, and then you are all set for your trip. So I hope some of these tips and hacks helped you guys. If it did, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments what are some hacks that you have because I love finding new hacks. I think they're so fun. So thank you guys again so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye! Which is coming down. There's Rhea. Rhea, say hi. Hi, Mimi. So we went on the jet ski earlier and now we're going to. Hey, Megan, I'm vlogging, by the way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so then I think we're going to go down there and just kind of hang out in the sun. I look like I got a little tan, but it's probably my self tanner. <laughs>